evening, everyone. Let's uh, pray. Father, we uh, thank you, Lord, for tonight uh, that you have given us all this opportunity to listen and receive from you. Lord, bless your people wherever they are right now. Oh God, I pray for your blessing be upon them as you listen to your word, oh God. And speak to us, oh God, and give us your message. Father, thank you. Let's know your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Magandang uh, gabi po sa ating lahat. At uh, maligayang pakikinig sa bawat isa. Praise the Lord. Okay, at bago po tayo magpatuloy na makinig sa mga awiting makalangit, ay uh, makinig muna tayo sa salita ng Panginoon. Dahil uh, hindi po pwede na isantabi po natin ang salita ng Panginoon. Bagkos uh, ito po ay dapat natin uh, pakinggan at uh, dahil ito po ay nagbibigay ng buhay. At ang ating uh, topic ngayon ay uh, the five ways of showing our commitment to God. Mga limang paraan po <coughs> na ipapakita natin ang ating tunay na commitment sa ating uh, Panginoon. Unang-una is, of course, number one is, let's continue to pray uh, daily or uh, often. Ang prayer po, mga kaibigan, isa po itong nagpapatunay ng tunay na commitment natin. Dahil alam po natin na ang prayer is, uh, this is the way that we could communicate with God. And if you are really committed to the Lord, you have that uh, uh, communication, a open communication sa Panginoon. Hindi po yung... Uh, uh, yung kung gusto mo nang manalangin, sa kalang manalangin, hindi po. Dahil ito po ang way na pwede po tayong makiusap sa Panginoon. At uh, dahil sa prayer, makita natin na ang idudulot ng prayer sa buhay ng isang tao na talagang nananampalataya at talagang nandoon ang kanyang commitment sa Panginoon, ay makikita natin dito po sa example ni Daniel. Okay, basahin po natin ang Daniel chapter 6 verse 10 to 23. Okay, I will just give you a, a message that is uh, not uh, too long. And if I will not finish, then I will continue tomorrow. Okay, it says here, Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Wala po kasing, isa po kasing mataas na opisyal si Daniel at gusto nilang uh, nagsiselos po ang mga uh, kasamang uh, ma ma matataas na opisyalis at gusto nilang sirain ang buhay ni Daniel sa hari. Kaya dahil wala silang makita na pagkukulang ni Daniel sa lakat ng kanyang gawain at ito po ang kanilang ginawa na gumawa sila ng isang decree na kung may nananalangin sa ibang Diyos na yung hindi Diyos ng hari ay dapat mapaparusahan. Yan lang kasi ang nakita nila kay Daniel. Yeah? So, noong naipublish na yan, napakinggan ni Daniel, ang ginawa ni Daniel is, pumunta po doon sa upstairs ng room niya, at doon naka-open ang kanyang bintana towards Jerusalem. At sabi dito, three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. So, uh, ito po ay palaging ginagawa 
ni Daniel, hindi lang yung time na may problema siya, pero sabi niya dito, just as he had done before, wala din niyang ginagawa ito. Okay, so three times a day, ilang beses ka manalangin sa isang araw. Kapag sabi mo, tatlo din, Pastor, kung kumain ako ng breakfast, <laughs> lunch and dinner, yeah. tapos dadalawang word pa, alam mo na, Lord. Ayan, alam mo na, Lord, gutom ako. Ah. Okay, si Daniel, sabi niya dito, three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed. Talagang nag nag uh, down na manalangin sa Panginoon. Let's continue to read. Then this man went as a group found and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. Oh, grupo sila. Grupo ng matataas na official pumunta sila. Na, Nadatnan nila si Daniel. Nagnananalangin. Siguro napakinggan pa nila dahil sabi nila, Daniel praying and asking God for help. Yeah, talagang napakinggan nila. Next verse, please. So they went to the king and they spoke to him about his royal decree. Did, did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any god or man except you O king would be thrown into the lion's den. The king answered, the decree stands in according with the laws of the Medes and Persians which cannot be retained. Okay? So, yes, parang ganun lang. Ang sagot ng pan, hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng mabawi yan. Next, please. <clears throat> then they said to king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays three times a day. O si Daniel, huh? hindi nagkikinig sa iyong hari. Ang binag, ang, na, ang law na ginawa mo, uh, na, walang magpipray. He still prays three times a day. Hmm? Kahit uh, may, may law, nananalangin pa rin three times a day si Daniel, sabi nila. Next. <coughs> when the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel. Okay? And made every effort until sundown to save him. Dahil masakit din sa, sa, ano, sa hari. Na mawala si Daniel. Pero wala siyang ba nagawa dahil uh, nag-sign na siya doon sa decree. Okay? So, gumawa siya ng paraan para may rescue si Daniel. Then the men went as a group to the king and said to him, Remember, O king, that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. Mm. Remember that, sabi nila sa hari, you know? Okay, next verse. So the king gave order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve, continually rescue you. Oh, yung hari, pinanalangin pa si Daniel. May your God will rescue you, sabi niya. Next, uh, please. So the king, a stone, a stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the rings of his nobles, so that Daniel's situation might not, not be changed. Talagang na siniliyuan nila para walang makakabawi huh? sa desisyon na mangyayari kay Daniel. Next verse. Then the king returned to his palace, and he spent the night without eating without and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. Oh, you see, nagfasting yung yung hari, yeah. nagfasting ng hari hindi siya kumain, hindi siya nanood sa TV or nanood sa anumang mga uh, pwedeng uh, panoorin, yeah. At sabi niya dito, he could not sleep. Hindi siya makaka 
Makatulog. Next please. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. Umagang umaga pa para bangon. Yeah. Magang umaga pa lang. Nag-rush siya na pumunta doon sa lion's den. Mm. May faith nito ah. Malaki ang faith niya. <laughs> Hallelujah. Next, anong nangyari? Sabi niya, when he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguish voice. Siguro ang tigurgur, yeah, boses na. At talagang uh, uh, matindigay, katama. At ang aming nangyari dyan. And Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Ah. Daniel, Daniel, sabi niya. Hmm? Daniel, servant of the living God. May faith yung hari. Sabi niya, servant of the living God. Has your God whom you serve continually been able to rescue you from the lion's den? Hmm. No, at ala ang piman, hakas na nga ang pagtitin niya. Yeah. Amo na lang ganun din, in pisok na iya ay ayan ti lion's den. Tapos napanigyan ka pa pa nagpupukaw, Daniel, Daniel! Siyempre, kung may nakakakita siguro dyan, ang akala nila, wala, talaga itong haring ito. Nababal yun na yata dahil kay Daniel. Hmm. Siyempre, ang alam nila, talagang baka kinain ng layon yan. Hmm? Yan. But you see, ah, kaya may faith ito. Okay, next verse please. Daniel answered, O king, sabi niya, live forever. O ari, magbuhay ka palagi. Next verse. My God sent his angel. Ang ganda, no? My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me. Because I was found innocent in his sight. Remember this. The lions, God shut the mouth of the lions and God sent his angel to rescue Daniel. What is the reason? The reason is, it says here, I was found innocent in his sight. Okay? Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, O King. Wala akong kasalanan sa Panginoon. Wala akong ginawang wrong sa'yo, Hari. Sabi niya. Next. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to left leave Daniel out of the lion den. And when Daniel was lifted from the from the den, no one was found on him because he had trusted in his God. Hallelujah! You see. If you know and you know that you are doing nothing, you are doing no wrong, hmm? and you know that you are doing well in the sight of God, whatever things that they are saying or doing against you, God will defend you. Amen. Hmm? You just trust the Lord. So don't ever worry, worry. Kung ano man ang sinasabi ng tao, ano man ang ginagawa ng tao, ang Diyos na ating pinaglilingkuran, buhay yan, kapatid. Eh? Buhay at alam niya kung ano ang tunay at hindi. Kung insane niya sa lion's den si Daniel, God can <coughs> save you also. Hallelujah! If God shut the mouth of the lions, God can do miracle also. You know why? Because the God had the Daniel served is our God whom we are serving today. He is the God yesterday, today, and forever. 
Kaya lang, let's continue to cling to the Lord. Continue. That is the power of prayer. Yeah? Kaya, every time na may problema tayo, ang, ang gagawin natin, pray to the Lord. Let's always come to God in prayer. Let's always come and present our request, our problem to Him. Kaya, whatever situation that you are encountering right now, yeah? Trust the Lord. Okay? God, sabi ng Panginoon, vengeance is mine. Amen. Hallelujah. Pangalawa, number two is obedience to God's will. Okay? Obedience is a very crucial aspect of demonstrating our commitment to God. Yeah, obedience is very, very vital, very, very important uh, na aspeto na doon natin ipapakita ang tunay na commitment natin sa Panginoon. Kaya doon sa John chapter 14 verse 15. If you love me, you will obey what I command. Okay? <clears throat> True love is a commitment. Yeah? True love is a commitment. And if it is really a commitment, then there must be obedience. Yeah? Kaya talagang na uh, iyan ang isang tunay na ebidensya, nagpapakita ng tunay na may commitment tayo sa Panginoon kung gagawin natin ang kagustuhan, ang will, ang command ng ating Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, number three. Number three na ipakita natin ang ating uh, pagbibigay sa ating Panginoon. Uh, Pag-commitment uh, natin sa Panginoon is one is giving. We cannot, we never, never get away from uh, giving. Because giving is one of the evidence of loving. Huh? Ito ang isang commitment ng pagmamahal sa ating Panginoon. Impossibly ang isang pwede kang magmahal ay pwede kang magbigay na walang pagmamahal pero hindi ka pwedeng magmahal na walang pagbibigay. Yeah? Kasama ito, yeah? ka-partner ito, ka-akibat ito yeah? sa commitment natin. Sa 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10, ano ang sabi dyan? Hmm. Each one should use <coughs> Nagkamali yata yung ano ko ah. First Peter chapter 4 Okay <coughs> But anyway uh, it can each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. Okay. If we have that really commitment to the Lord, giving is not absent. Hindi at hindi pwede ang giving. Dahil ito po ay suporta sa trabaho ng Panginoon. At ito po ang magnagpapakita. Ganito kasi yan eh. Once na ang isang tao ay, uh, ay uh, very uh, generous na magbigay. Hmm? Example yung tithes and offering. Once na naibigay mo ang tithes and offering mo, nasiset free ka sa bandage of greediness. Hmm? Yeah, nasiset free ka sa bandage of greediness. And once that you are really giving to God, that shows that you love the Lord and you are really committed to Him, 
because you are willing to give a portion of your resources for the <coughs> kingdom of God. And, and that is one sign of maturity. Kaya na eh, sabi natin, ang pagbibigay, ito ay sign ng maturity. Hindi at hindi pwede na gagamitin ang Panginoon ang hindi marunong magbigay. Hmm? Kaya let's uh, continue to give for the glory of God. We are so thankful yeah? because uh, God is uh, God is uh, advancing His kingdom. Uh, for your information, we have again additional new J na mabubuksan. So, we have 135 J's. Tingnan ninyo, napakabait po ang ating Panginoon. Hmm? Napakabuti po ang ating Panginoon. Kung saan po ang kampo ng mga taong makasalanan, pinasok po ng Panginoon para bigyan at maramdaman nila ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Kaya iyan po ang isang, isang sinusuportahan po natin para magkaroon po sila ng laptop at uh, makarinig sila sa salita ng Panginoon. Magkaroon po sila ng monitor, TV monitor, at makarinig sila sa salita ng Panginoon. And this is one thing na kung tutuusin, napaka-fertile na land, na napakagandang tamnan. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. Dahil nakikita mo talaga ang kapalit nito ay kaluluwa. Hmm? Kaya let's continue to support the work of the Lord. Kaya kung may uh, pagkakataon na sige magsuporta tayo, let us support the work of God. Hmm. Baka sabihin niyo pati ba naman sa ubuktibiyag na public, mag-preach uh, mag, uh, kayo ng giving? Yes! Yeah? That's why if you are touched by God, wherever you are, you can send, you can give to the Lord. Whatever church you are na nakikinig, you give your tithes. You give your offerings. Hallelujah. Support the work of God. Kaya kahit sa anong simbahan ka na nakikinig ngayon, supportahan mo kung saan ka inilagay ng Panginoon. And God will bless you more. Okay? Okay. Another... Another is, another way of showing our commitment to God. I will just give one, one more. Is active participation in a local church. Kailangang aktibo ka na makipagpartisipar sa trabaho ng Panginoon kung saan ka iniligay ni Lord. And 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Maybe ilas natin dito. Sabi niya, the body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts. And though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. Kagaya nito, body natin, may, uh, may kamay, may paa, may niwat, may... Uh, May tainga, oh, maraming parte. Ganun din sa body of Christ. Okay? Next. For we were all baptized by one spirit in one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to dream. <coughs> Sino ka man? Ah? Uh, iisa po tayo sa uh, Espiritu ng Panginoon kung ikaw po ay naniwala sa Kanya. Tinanggap po siya. Next verse please. Now the body is not made up of one part but of many. Ang body natin ay maraming parts. Next verse. If the foot should say because I am not a hand I do not belong to the body it would not for that reason is to be part of the 
body. Hindi pwedeng sabihin ng ng paa ay dahil hindi siya ay ay uh, ay hand, ya? Yeah? Ay sasabihin hindi siya kaparte sa body. Next verse. And if the ear should say because I am not an I, I do not belong to the body. It would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. Nagpangit pati niya no kuno nga gapot ako nang nga hangka nga sakat at ay hangka nga ima at isina mo nga saka, di ba? O, oh, nagpangit yan. Tapos, dahil hindi ka mata, ikaw ay tainga, alisin mo na lang ng tainga. Hindi wala ng tainga, di ba? Ang pangit yun. Walang tainga, walang paa, di anong natira. <laughs> okay, next. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? Tama nga naman, kung lahat ng parte ng katawan natin purus mata, oh, ano kaya ang ano kaya ang itsura? Kung purus tayo nga naman, tayo nga ang gana dyan, dapat mo, ang gana dyan, pati pa itiulong ka tayo nga dyan, bukun, hanyang nga tayo na itsura na. Hanyang nga tayo pang uh, pangangot na, itong pangkita. Next. But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as He wanted them to be. Pero inarins ng Panginoon, tama nga, ang ganda-ganda ang pagkaarins ng ano natin, katawan natin. Tingnan ninyo, ang mata, ang ulo, ang daming buko, tapos yung mata may koridum-dum. Ayan, koridum-dum. Tapos, Na, napakagaling si Lord. Ha? Kumahaba yung ulo, ay kumahaba yung buko. Pero parihas naman na buko dito, di ba? Parihas naman na buko. Pero bakit humahaba para until here? Ano? Eh, para silang nag-usap talaga. Yan? Para silang nag-usap sa buko. At sasabihin, oh, ikaw na buko. Diyan ah, sa likod. Hihilain mo ako. Hihilain mo. Para hindi ako kumahaba. Ang galing, no? Ang pag-a-arrange ng ating Panginoon. Oh, napakaganda. Yung mata natin hindi pumunta doon sa paa. Hmm? Kundi nag ang ganda yung arrangement na. Arrangement yan. Dahil may plano si Boy. Next verse. If they were all one part, where would be the body be? Tama nga. Sabi ko kanina kung mata silang lahat, nagpangit mag yeah. Next. As it is, there are many parts but one body. Next verse. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. Hmm. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. Hmm. Hindi mo sasabihin na hindi importante. Yeah. Next verse. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. Oh, ba naman? Yung ubat mo, hanga presentable. Pero importante, kailangan alagaan mo yan. Otherwise, kung hindi ka tumatai, the whole body will be affected. The whole body will be affected. Suha ako na lang, nagtangat siya nga, para kakala ang, nada ka nung, nagwilga na ima, kada saka, kada ngiwat. Hindi sila kumain, nagwilga sila. Hindi nagtrabaho. Hindi pumunta sa trabaho. Hindi gumanaw yung paa. Hindi nagtrabaho ng kamay. Hindi kumain ang bunganga. Dahil nagwilga sila. Dahil ang tiyan daw. Para kakain lang. Hmm? Pero isang araw, okay lang. Dalawang araw, medyo okay. Itatlong araw, nang hina na na silang lahat. Kaya, ayan, forgive us, sabi nila. Forgive us. So, what we did is, they work together. Next verse. While all presentable parts need to know a special treatment, but God has combined the members of the body and has given greater honor to the parts that uh, lack it. Hmm? Next. 
so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. Hallelujah. Next verse. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. Yeah. Kaya, we are one body, kaya kailangan lahat. Iisa tayong body of Christ. Iisa tayong pamilya. Kaya lahat tayong kailangan ipakita natin ang commitment natin sa Panginoon, commitment natin sa ating pamilya, commitment natin sa bawat isa. Yeah? So, we need to participate in the work of the Lord in the local church. Kung saan ka ginawa, kung saan ka nilagay ng Panginoon, kailangan mag-participate ka actively. And that is one way, one sign of commitment to the Lord. Okay. The last one. Nayon ko, tapno malpas. The last one is, last one showing our commitment to God is sharing. Sharing the gospel. We need to continue to evangelize. Let's continue to share the word of God. Wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa ngayon, mga kaibigan. Ito na ang panahon para tayo'y kikilos. Huh? We are just, uh, we have just, uh, we have meeting last night with a bishop. And we uh, finish our meeting after, uh, after 12. And uh, yan, Bishop uh, said, we need to really uh, uh, stir up our people and not, not only our people, even those uh, na sinasabi Kristiyano sila, sabi ni Bishop, gagawa tayo ng tracks na nagsasabi doon, those who will not bear fruit will be cut off according to John chapter 15. We need to stir up the awareness of the people na kailangan, talagang kailangan magbunga tayo. Yeah? Ganun mga kaibigan. Because that is one of the fundamental uh, uh, teaching ng ating Panginoon, ng ating ng salita ng Panginoon, that we need to bear fruit. Hmm? Acts chapter 20 verse 22 to 24, last verse natin. You know that I have not hesitated to preach any time anything that would be helpful to, to you but have taught you publicly and from house to house. Tingnan niyo yung nag-house to house. Kaya ang isang strategy natin sa evangelism is house to house. Dito sa Hong Kong, hindi pwedeng house to house. Dahil uh, maibalod ka anong kamakmapanwi sa baling na balay. But uh, doon sa probinsya, sa atin, we could apply this. Yeah? Yan, ang ginagawa ni Paul, mga apasal ng Panginoon, noong unang panahon. Next verse, please. You know that I have not hesitated to preach anything that would be helpful to you, but have taught you. I have declared to both Jesus, uh, Jews and Greeks, that they must turn to God and repentance and have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, sino mang tao, Griego or uh, Hodyo, yeah? kailangan na preach natin para sila'y magsisi at babalik sila sa Panginoon. Next verse. And now compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. You see? Ang isang alagad ng Panginoon, kahit anong mangyari, hindi mo alam ang mangyayari. But you just trust the Lord and keep on serving, keep on sharing the Word of God. Next verse. I only know that it, in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardship are facing me. You see? Ang mga hardship trials, kakarapin natin yan. Even sa 
lang po ah. Next verse. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me if only I may finish the race and complete the task that the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. You know? Ayan mga kaibigan, napaka-importante ang mag-serve. Napaka-importante ang mag-share sa salita ng Panginoon. That's why every one of us, bawat isa sa atin, na nagsasabing Kristiyano, nagsasabing anak ng Diyos, nagsasabing alagad ng Panginoon. <coughs> hmm? You know, tayong lahat, we are commissioned to share the word of the Lord. Yeah? And that is one commitment of a believer who are calling himself a Christian. Kaya ito po, marami pa, pero ito lang ang uh, may bibigay ko sa gabing ito, the five ways of showing ourselves, showing our commitment to God. Kailangan po ang uh, constant uh, uh, communication or prayer. Kailangan po ang obedience to the will of God. And our giving, let's continue to support. If God is sustaining us, alam ninyo, napakaganda. Mapapasalamat tayo pag gising natin sa umaga, ma, 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 malakas pa tayo. If God keep on sustaining us, God heal us, God uh, keep on strengthening us so that we could work. Mm. Ayan pala, yung hindi pa nakakaalam, patay na po si Pastora Tresi. Yeah. Kinuha po ng ating Panginoon ang isang pastor na na naman natin. But uh, praise the Lord. Dahil siya din ay tapat na naglingkod sa Panginoon. And uh, ganun talaga ang buhay. At sana din sa atin na pagdating ng panahon, nakukunin tayo ng Panginoon. Sana handang-handa tayo. Amen? And number four, yes, let's continue to participate actively sa mga ministry sa work ng Panginoon inside the church and of course evangelism or sharing the gospel so this is uh, the word of God that uh, may share ko sa gabing ito sana po ipakita natin talaga sa Panginoon ang ating commitment sa pamamagitan ng paggawa natin dito may God bless you and God strengthen you empower you and God will give you more blessings in Jesus name. Amen. God bless everyone. Balik ko po sa insin natin. Hallelujah. Salamat po.